it's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. No! <gasps> no, he just died! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Thank you for accompanying me to Windhelm. You've been really kind to me over the past month, Nematis. Alduin is dead now, but at such a cost. I've lost my destruction magic. Tolfdir drew me a diagram, and I'm just going to show you what's happened. I have no power left. My destruction was once at 100, according to a chart that Tolftier devised. It's now at 16, and I have no abilities at all. So, I've had to compensate by using other schools of magic. You should unload some of that unwanted gear. Head over to Sadri's used wares. Talk to the elf. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I've had to compensate by mastering other schools of magic, illusion, alteration. I'm relying on restoration as an attack. And I'm also trying to work on conjuration and, and using a bound sword. And, you know, I really, Nematis, I'm not very strong at all, so it, it's, it's quite a challenge for me. But thank you for sticking by me. And I just want to say that I'm glad that you decided to take those assassin classes. And you've really improved in, you know, how you're able to protect me. And even your uniform now is, is quite impressive. Just thank you. Thank you so much, Nematis. And, I mean, it saddens me that I had to step down as the Archmage and let Tolftir take over. But I'm on a quest now to find my Magicka, my lost Magicka. The, the going, I guess, reason behind me losing the Magicka is that I could have been poisoned by those cultists that appeared in Riften. One of them managed to hit me with their sword, and Tolfdir believes it contains some kind of magic or poison. The other theory is that by me going into Sovngarde somehow affected, I mean, as a living being going to Sovngarde somehow disrupted my destruction magic. But anyhow, here we are. And I'm still trying to help people as I go on my own quest to recover my lost magic. So we're here, and let me just pull out the note that I received just recently. Yes, here, this letter from Quintius Novali. During Norellian's convalescence, I've been studying the legends of the file. I don't know enough enchanting to make one anew, but with the proper materials I may be able to repair the original. Please come. See me as soon as you can. So, this is the, the older man that is Lord, suffering with a terminal illness that sent uh, me on a mission to recover the white file, and when we found it, it was damaged. What we thought was beyond repair. But now I've just received notice that there may be a way of fixing it. And since the man's life is coming close to an end, I thought that I would do this mission before any others. The other thing, the matters that concerns me, is that the war has resumed. The truce has been called off. And the Imperials and the Stormcloaks are fighting again. 
It won't be long before we are caught back up in this war. I know you don't have to say anything, Nematis. I know how upset you get. But come on, let's go. Come and see for yourself. Pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regions. Um, Quintius? My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. I received your letter. Good to hear. You can be a difficult man to find. Thankfully, those couriers are tenacious. Hmm. You're not kidding about that. You think you know how to repair the file? I have some thoughts. There are three crucial elements. Some may be easier to find than others. On the top of the throat of the world is a patch of unmelting snow. No heat can touch it. Then we need the tusk of a mammoth, ground to a fine powder as only the giants know how. The final step is tricky. It requires the briar heart from a forsworn of the reach. If you can bring me these materials, the file can again be made whole. Hmm. I may have some of these ingredients. But anyhow, tell me about the unmelting snow. On top of the throat of the world is a patch of snow that's never melted. They say the Greybeards taught it to ignore the sun, and the heat simply taught washes it. over it. The original file was made from this snow. We'll only need a small bit for the repairs. Tell me about the mammoth tusk powder. The ivory produced by those beasts is as hard as iron. The giants have found ways to make it yield. They're able to grind it down so fine that it can be infused into the lattice of packed snow. The finished material has the delicate nature of fresh powder snow, but the strength of the hardest steel. And tell me about the Briar Heart. The final tempering of the file was performed with a type of old magic that's been lost since the Dragon War. The nearest modern incarnation of it is the strange rituals practiced by the Forsworn. With the heart of one of their Briar Warriors, I can lock the file's magic into its physical form. It's difficult to explain to the layman. Forgive me if I begin waxing alchemic. All right, then. All right? Well, I guess we're off. Come on, Nematis. I thought I had a briar heart, but maybe I'm mistaken. We're going to head to Stone Hill Bluff, I guess, to get the powdered mammoth tusk. I'm not seeing a giant. There it is. All right, I'm not going to be able to do much. Get the sword. But I can use... my restoration powers. Here it is. Mammoth tusk powder. And there's a chest over here. Back at 
the throat of the world. These dragons should not try to harm me. And there's Parthenax whose life I spared, so hopefully we're all in good standing here. Get out of the way! The madness! Alright, I got the unmelting snow. You're not helping. Alright, where are we going now? Oh, back to Quintus No Valley. Then I guess I do have the um, Briarheart. Because I just killed a Briarheart recently. Apology. Apologies. Oh, you know what? And we've been getting along really well for about a month, but that can all change. Okay, it's me. I'm back with the ingredients. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. I bet you have. I have the materials you requested. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the file straight away. Supposed to wait down here. Master, look. It's the file. Oh. What? How? It doesn't matter. Look. It's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. No! <gasps> no, he just died! He is gone. But <gasps> thanks to you, he died knowing <gasps> his life's work was not in vain. <gasps> I'm so sorry. As am I. You acted very nobly in helping my master realize his life's work. Thank you for that. As for myself, I've always been content to simply be an alchemist. I fear keeping the file would just remind me of Norellian's obsession and how it consumed him. Here, keep it. You are as much a part of its legend now as Coralno was. I hope it brings you the happiness that my master desired. Now, how would you like me to align the file's properties? I'm not as skilled as Coralno. So I'm afraid it will only ever refill with one type of liquid. Um... I guess I want to strengthen my magical skills. I understand. Well, that's it. The white file is finally completed. Where did the Mattis run off to? Did I hurt his feelings that badly? Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. Alright, well, I have another mission that I have to attend to. During the month, I was able to find the blood samples that Septimus Cygnus wanted. Oh, here you are. All right, come on, let's go. So I'm going to return those now. I'm back. Dig, dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown, and rise to your depths. I brought all the blood samples you require. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture.
Look! When I was a boy, my friends and I used to play Seek the Wampus in caves much like this. I don't think a cave that you were in would have this kind of thing. Just a book. Come on, let's go. The world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. What? No! He disintegrated. What's going on? Here's the book. The Ogma Infinium. Well, I guess I'll take it. All right, let's go. He's dead. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, no! No, not you! No! What? What do you want? Come, my champion. What now? Now, you have my Ogma Infinium. Oh, what? Right, you can have it. The knowledge of the you can have it. As revealed to Sarsis. My loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. What? You mean that? He's gone! Did, did you see that? The matters? I don't think he saw or heard anything. I don't know what any of this means, but let's get out of here. Let's head back to my new house in solitude. Here we are. 9.43 in the morning. Wow, these people must have had a good time. Nothing like partying until the sun comes up. Anyhow, um, they made me a Thane, Nematis. I'm not sure I told you, but I'm the Thane of Solitude, yes. or, or one of them. And I purchased a new home. Proud Spire Manor. You changed into something more comfortable. Okay, let's go. Well, you can see there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It is a fixer-upper. Come on upstairs. Um, the house Carl should be here somewhere. Oh, here she is. Jordis. Hello. How are you? I am your sword and your shield. I thank you. I appreciate that. That's quite an outfit you have on. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. Looks like you've been doing some work here in the kitchen. Good. And you cooked. Well, this is very nice. 
I'm very impressed. There's supposed to be a bedroom here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, look, there's more stairs. I'm not even familiar with this house yet. Okay. Well, you can see that Jordis has been putting in some work here. Oh, and look at the bedroom. This is nice. And sweet rolls, too. Okay. So, this is what we have so far. Nematis, let's go. Um, bye, Jordis. All right, the other thing that I've been putting off for so long is finding Grim Sever for Mule. Okay, let's go. It's more. You'll be so much easier to roll. Got them. Oh, this restoration magic is so draining. someone. I know someone's around here. Alright, well, let's go on. If they don't see us, let's just keep moving. Alright, Mazincha left. 